I just got through talking to my doctor. I knew I was right. I knew I was right because the more I kept trying to talk about fruits and vegetables, the things that's supposed to cure this problem, talking about plant-based and, and certain type of plants that help the problem, we kept avoiding that problem. They kept wanting to talk about pills and shoving pills in my face, shoving pills. They said everything looks okay. Well, I didn't feel okay. Well, you got to be Pacific. Well, I got to be Pacific. If I say I ain't feeling good, you're supposed to scan everything. Scan me from the rooter to the tutor to find out what's going on. I don't know what's going on with me. I could tell you all day it's my head and it's not. Even though it'll feel like it's my head. I could tell you, hey, my left eye is, is twitching and it hurts. I don't know. So it'd be wise to just check. Like I said, I was in California and I was at one of the doctor's office and they test me for everything. Even though I just said, hey, you know, I'm having back, I'm having chest pains. But they said, well, since we're here, why, while we're che checking you for chest pains, we're going to just check you for everything. Ooh, makes sense. Whereas down here, they ain't doing that. They only checking for what they want to check for. You got to be persistent. And then all we're going to do is shove pills in your face. So all you're going to do is shove pills in my face instead of just helping me out and telling me the right things. Oh, we talked about the fruits and the vegetables. No, we didn't. You talked about the fruits and the vegetables. I mean, I mean, I talked about the fruits and the vegetables. You kept talking about pill shoving and, and trying to figure out well, what's really wrong with you. And I know what's wrong with me. I'm coming in and telling you it's my high blood pressure. I'm saying that. I'm literally telling you it's my high blood pressure. And you're telling me, no, nah, we need to know Pacific. That's not Pacific. Me saying my high blood pressure is it, 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 fucking with me is not Pacific. Okay. Make it make sense. As those black folks and Hispanic folks say, make it make sense. We talking Ebonics now, you understand smell me? Make it make sense, you dig? Make it make sense, you dig? Because if I'm telling you, my, uh, they're telling me everything is fine. Your blood pressure's a little high. It's not super high, but it's a little high. Make it make sense. But the minute I start talking about Dr. Sebi and, and, and talking about fruits and vegetables and, and talking about, you know, give me a other alternative other than eating. Give me a give me an alternative other than y'all shoving pills in my face. And it's like you're ready to be on to the next question and the next question and the next question. See, I'm smart. I already know what's going on. So. You need to stay away from bad foods and eat right. And then you mean to tell me that in our family we're born with those genetics? Oh, you're born with the sickle cell. You're born with the with the high blood pressure. You're born with the whoop de blam and this and that and that and this. It's like saying, oh, because one motherfucker, uh. It's like, why the whole world gotta be. Why your whole family genes got to be, oh, well, we're prone to be diabetics in our family. We're prone to be uh, cancer patients in our family. We're prone to have sickle cell anemia in our family. We're prone to have sickle cell trait. We're prone for gout. We're prone for... Because daddy ate... It's like saying, oh, well, we're prone to have crack babies because daddy can't stop smoking crack. So all these kids got to come out like a crack baby. Nah, I'm not hearing that. I ain't buying that. I believe it's just the choices that I chose in life, and I need to change that. I need to change my whole route of eating. Take take slow baby steps and exercising. I know what it is. It's my blood pressure. They trying to make it seem like, nah, we don't know if that's it. I'm coming in telling you. It's blood pressure symptoms, and you're going to tell me it's not? Well, they didn't say it wasn't, but they didn't say it was. They scanned everything and said, you're fine. Drew blood, peed in a the cup. They said, oh, everything's fine. They didn't do an everything test. They only did certain tests. Oh, and Annie, if you're watching this or if you see this, let me know again what I should ask my doctor for. Do a full blood scan. That's what it was. Do a full blood scan. But watch when I go, to, watch when I go there tomorrow. 
He's going to be sometime. He's not going to be specifically on the questions. It's going to be iffy with everything. Instead of telling me the right thing, he's going to shove pills in my face. Watch how accurate I'm going to be. And y'all will get the results. I won't be able to take a video, but I will be able to take a video when I show y'all after. I'm going to say, see, I'm going to show you the paperwork where it's going to show that I'm, I got to go pick up some medicine. Instead of him telling me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when they give you medicine, they say, hey, take two of these pills till that problem goes away. Or why can't I just eat some type of fruit or vegetable until that problem goes away? And keep continuing to eat that fruit and vegetable. But they want to give you some pills and say, hey, this pill, take this pill and, you know, side effects include, but this pill will work. Okay. See, I'm in the hospital. Uh, nephew, I still ain't forgot about you. I still ain't forgot about you. But I'm finna end this video because my phone is at like 10% or 5% or something. Well, I don't even say 10% or 5%. It's a... Uh, It's at 20%, so. Hey, uh, Kim, with your fine ass. Hey, I'm just being real. How you doing? Since you watching, Kim, how you doing? You know me, I, I, could, I could have a full wife, and I'm still going to let the pretty ladies know. How you doing, pretty lady? I'm going to still let them all know. You're a pretty lady. In my eyes, it, it, I... I, I see pretty women as I go by their looks and their characters. And they say, what the hell am I doing to the ear? Nigga, what it look like? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, stop eating greasy foods and fatty foods. That's what'll end up putting you in the hospital. All that drinking and smoking will put you in the hospital. All them blunts and runts and stunts and all that, you know. Okay. It's good to hear that you're good. But yeah, this is what, you know what I'm saying, the results are. And, and stay healthy, my brother. Nephew, stay healthy. You, I know you got situations, too, that you, you really need to, you know what I'm saying, stay alert on and watch out for. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I know your situation, too. So, yeah, but just, hey, we ain't going to talk about it on here. But, yeah, but I just know that you need to stay alert, too. So, I need to stop letting people stress me out. I need to stop eating bad foods. I just need to stop here. And my stomach is growling right now for something to eat. But I'm not finna slam no. I'm finna go home and eat a salad. A dry salad. Dry salad. I don't know why people think, you know what I'm saying, high blood pressure ain't nothing to have. It's, 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 it's like, it's like 911 is a joke. It's like that. High blood pressure is a joke. Yeah, I keep you in my prayers too, nephew. Tell tell uh tell your old lady I said hey. Or she she's niece now cuz I'm sure you're going to marry her one day. I don't know if you are or not, but I mean, I'm sure you probably made it official with her, you know, so I said. So if she makes you happy, man. I'm I'm all for it. Salute to you. Oh, baby. On phone him. <laughs> Like I'm from Chicago, on phonium. <laughs> they on phonium grade. <laughs> they on phonium. Yeah. But yeah, gotta get your health in order, man. I mean, shit. So all them snacks I got, I gotta mail them off to you. Just give me time, man. It's like I've been having a lot going on. That's why you notice why it's taking a minute. Some of the snacks, snacks might be outdated that I got for you. But you'll know when you get them, just go through them or whatever smells funny or tastes weird. Don't even fuck with it. Throw that shit away. But the shit, the other shit, it's still good to go like G.I. Joe because, you know what I'm saying, I'll be, I be buying candy every month. So so as you can see, so like even this month I got candy. Brand new candy. <laughs> so, so yeah, but y'all see what it is. Cali, Texas, E&T. Keeping it West Coast. Keeping it chalky. You understand me? <laughs>